I came across a video on TikTok uh, recently, which has really impressed a lot of people, especially Muslims. Uh, you get this guy who's a non-Muslim and giving us, telling the world the real reason behind why Qatar is having so much trouble accepting LGBT people. And that's precisely the wording this guy, Dennis Fang, uses uh, on TikTok, as I say. I just want to share this video. It's quite short, a couple of minutes long, and it's one of the best uh, videos I've ever come across by a non-Muslim uh, explaining the Islamic perspective on LGBT and gender and why Qatar, as he puts it, is having so much trouble uh, from the West, which accepts a very different set of values based on secular liberalism. And of course, the West is seeking to impose this culturally and economically on the rest of the world. And Qatar, obviously as a Muslim country, is resisting this. And the West doesn't understand why. It doesn't want to hear the reasons why. And Dennis Fang, to his credit, he sounds like a, an English educated public school guy, actually. I think he lives uh, in Australia, uh, but gives a, a superb set of insightful reasons why Muslims uh, do not accept this uh, agenda. And why, actually, we cannot accept this agenda. It's not a question of stubbornness or not wanting to go along with the Western values that God has given us certain parameters and guidelines and rules uh, by which to live our lives. And they are non-negotiable. They are set down by our creator. Um, anyway, I'll, I just want to share this video. I'll share it with you its entirety um, and I'll link to uh, the TikTok um, uh, link below. And you can read the comments uh, left by uh, Muslims, which are uh, very uh, appreciative of a non-Muslim's understanding, which I think is quite rare in my experience to find a non-Muslim to really get it. Anyway, enjoy. Why is Qatar struggling so much with LGBT people? Is it a simple bigotry? Can't they be more open-minded and be more accepting of all self-identities? Well, it's because of the moral framework of Islam and LGBT that are diametrically opposed. You see, LGBT is a result of Western individual liberalism. It's built fundamentally upon the revolutionary idea that one has sovereignty over their own bodies. You are free to do whatever you want with it. As a result, the idea of goodness is a utilitarian one where fostering one's own pleasure and limiting the undermining of other people's pleasure is the ultimate virtue. And because morality is subjective, one's own feelings inside are of the up most importance. Hence we have people identifying with their own feelings and bodily urges. Hence I feel like a female, therefore I am a female. I am attracted to men, therefore I identify as a homosexual. In Islam on the other hand, one doesn't have sovereignty over their own bodies, for humans were created deliberately by God to fulfill a noble and spiritual purpose. And that purpose is in serving God who is the ultimate form of good. In this moral frame work in this paradigm, Allah created the male and the female with reproductive and social roles and thus fulfilling those purposes is honouring God. There is no concept of my body, my choice, for the choice has already been made. It was destined for you. It is for example only in a heterosexual marriage where gender uh, differences are enforced, where men are more dominant and women have ideals of beauty and gentility, that we see a metaphysical wholeness in marriage. Sex outside those purposes loses all meaning and legitimacy. For remember, the purpose of sex isn't individualistic pleasure, but to fulfill a higher and transcendent good. I hope you can see that Qatar can't simply make a few small amendments to their laws and wave a rainbow flag and accept homosexuality and trans people because their whole teleology of humanity in general is diametrically opposed to what we're familiar with in the Western world. And all the individualistic liberalism has become the de facto lingua franca of morality. We do need to understand the difficulty or even the futility of, well, colonizing foreign people with our ideas of morality. We might think that we're right and they're wrong, but remember, they are thinking the exact same thing. Thanks for watching.